Hey everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Quarter and I just wanted to share with you I went um, antiquing and thrift storing again um, today and I wanted to show you some of the things that I purchased. Um, first, of, first off are some postcards. I went back to one of the antique stores that my friend and I went to a few weeks ago when she was visiting. They had tons of postcards but she wanted more than I'm normally willing to pay for postcards but I went through them and I picked out some some ones I really liked and I am going to scan them and use them as tuck spots in my um, in my junk journals um, and also I am putting together some in, um, junk journal vintage junk journal embellishment kits um, I started on that this morning since I got my video out of the way yesterday <clears throat> I had all morning to myself today so I started putting together some um, junk journal kits and these uh, after I scan them and print them out are going to be um, here's some really pretty um, Hummel Hummel images so these are going to be in um, in the kits. I don't think any of these have a post date on them. No, these aren't, aren't post dated. So that was from the antique store. And then I went to my favorite thrift store. I uh, hadn't been there in a while. And they had some, like I don't have enough vintage linens. I have a weakness for them. I can't help myself. They had these little packs of, this was $2, these little linen um, doilies, linen doilies. So these would be good for pockets and um, junk journals. Pretty embroidered. That one's pretty pretty plain. That was $2 and this one, this pack was $1. Uh, it's really intric intricate um, embroidery and um, cut work in it. And then another plain embroidered one and another doily with some crochet around the edge. So that was a dollar. Um, I also got this roll of vintage wallpaper. Look at the pretty pattern on there. That, like um, cabbage roses and some maybe carnations and daisies really pretty so this will this will probably be going into the kit as well and then I got some books <clears throat> um, this first one is Audubon's Bird of Birds of America and it's from 1950 and I love all the images of all the birds um, part of the kit that I'm putting together is going to have some pages some book pages so this will probably, um, some of these will probably be in there, as well as the rest of the ones. Really pretty, pretty images. 1950. Um, I got a couple of um, song books. And this one is from 1970. And I didn't even notice it. There was another, another song book tucked inside of it on... 30 daily exercises. I guess that's for learning the learning the piano. So this one also has some 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 neat images, definitely reminiscent of the 70s. I recognize some of the songs in here. My way. Hmm. A Time for Us. So that was one of the song books. This one, um, that was a dollar, and this one was a dollar also. It was Basic Piano for Adults. This books. Let me come out a little bit. I think this one is more on learning. How to play the piano and all the the chords. I recognize some of the songs in here too. When the Saints Go Marching In, <laughs> Yellow Rose of Texas. So 
that was another song book. And then this last book was The Life of Birds. This one is was a dollar also. And it has some pretty cool, cool images. This one's from 19, 1972. A lot of um, colorful colorful images about the some of it's the life cycle of birds so some of this might be might be in the kits as well and I have some others <clears throat> the ones that I purchased previously that I've already showed you so um, that's what I purchased today I also just looked at the pictures um, for the auction tonight um, that I that I normally go to and I saw a bunch of stuff that I'm interested in, so I'm going to be going to the auction tonight and see what I can pick up there. Uh, but that's it for now. Stay tuned for those kits coming up. Uh, I'm going to try to get them ready for next weekend, but I make no guarantees. Uh, bye for now.